after this year see it is very interesting uh, after signing of this year agreement this agreement with uh, all border students union and national democratic front of borderland in 2020 on 27 january uh, first of all people thought it was a most uh, successful uh, accord uh, among the three accords since in 1993 borders were given BSA accord in 2003 borders were given BTC accord uh, and on 2020 borders were given BTC accord but in spite of all this BTR agreement is the worst one where uh, the powers and functions uh, under the provision of 6 schedule uh, to the constitution of India the borders were given uh, in 2003 and this power and function after attaining uh, BTR accord it is uh, instead of uh, upgrading it is degrading now that is why the youth especially the younger generation among the boys they told that it is uh, at a high time uh, to uh, fight for a more autonomy when we supposed to get as per the provision of the indian constitution uh, after the first convention what you decide to uh, fulfill our demand Uh, after this uh, formation of Bodo National Students Union on uh, 7th February 2022, this Bodo National Students Union has been working for the overall development and upliftment of the Bodo community as well as, well as uh, fighting for the hopes and aspiration of the Bodo's. That is the long shared dream of the Bodo people, uh, that is several state Bodo land. To attain several state Bodo land, the Bonsha has decided uh, to take up the uh, stronger action, the more diplomatic way to attain it. Because this uh, demand, long shared dream of the Bodo people, is ultimate dream. Until and unless, if the Bodo people don't attend this uh, separate state, the, con the fight will continue. And in this uh, auspicious occasion today, we have been taking this, uh, uh, this agenda where uh, the Bodo will unite together as well as with the other tribal communities living in Assam to fight for the identity, to fight for the rights because the workers and the tribal people are the sons of the sons of Assam. They have every right to voice and to fight for their rights because they are the indigenous the tribal people and the sons of the sons of this land. Bonsi is protest many times for the separate borderland. Our fight, uh, our fight will continue with the government of India because it is our democratic rights and Bonsu is fighting as per the provision of the Indian constitution. We are a non, non uh, we are what do you call uh, democratic organization. So we will fight and we will voice. We have protested uh, and we have submitted uh, a memorandum to the government of India, but the government of India didn't pay any attention. So in course of time, we have to take stronger action. We have to take more rigorous and vigorous uh, action to make the government of India to understand us that we are not surrendering. Though Many other organizations since 1967 has uh, surrendered or some of them are retired, tired, but the new younger generation will never sit in, sit in silence, will never surrender. Our fight will continue 
I would fight will go on until and unless if the separate state is not given to the voters. As per the decision of the House, as per the agenda of the National Students Union, Bonsho is a non-political organization. The Bonsho will uh, go ahead without any uh, political, uh, uh, what do you call, a site with any parties in this coming Lok in this election. So we will continue to unite the voters, irrespective of the parties, irrespective of the religion. And so we will fight unitedly, taking all the other uh, indigenous tribal people to get the rights of the voter people. In this coming 2024 MP election, Bonsha will support, as per the provision of India, the right to franchise, as per the individual choices. To this, through this press uh, media, I would like to appeal to all the Boro people and all the tribal people to be united and to fight for the rights. Because we have every right to get what we are supposed to get as per the provision of the Indian Constitution. We are demanding the rights of our forefathers that is given to us. We are demanding the rights that we are supposed to get. But by the, uh, as per the provision of Indian Constitution, we are not demanding the rights of the other uh, community. The land that we are demanding, the autonomy that we are demanding, the political self-determination that we are de demanding is the, is the rights that the tribal, the indigenous, the border people are supposed to get uh, from the Indian government. And the land which we are demanding is the land given by our forefathers. It is not given by the, uh, any community, any, uh, by the government of India. The land which we are demanding for our separate state of the land is the land that is given to us, uh, given by our forefathers. As per, uh, as per uh, the report that we have seen regarding uh, the eviction uh, in Kokresa, so, uh, in Siram. So, according to Forest uh, Dollar uh, of India, the people, the tribal people, the indigenous, the indigenous people, have been given rights to live in the forest. Because the government has already declared <coughs> the tribal people can live in the forest because after they are settled, they, they, they are again planting trees. Because uh, this is a decision taken by the Indian government. And we, as the tribal people, have the right to live in the forest or every, whatever it is. That, that is the provision given by the government of India. So the only thing is that the government of India has declared those non qualified uh, people, those who are residing in tribal building block, those illegal settlers, they are already ordered by the party to evacuate, to evacuate, to be evicted by the government of Assam, the government of Bija, BTC. But the government did not, they didn't do anything, anything uh, about the eviction to those illegal settlers uh, residing in tribal building block, and especially in the six schedule areas in BTC. Instead of evicting those, uh, those non bona fide uh, uh, people uh, staying in tribal building block or in the sexual areas, they are evicting the, the people, those who have the every right to live, every right uh, to, uh, uh, to live. I say, as a, uh, as a as a as a and I would like to appeal the government of India.
before eviction of any bona fide or unbona fide uh, people residing in anywhere in Assam or somewhere else, they should provide a uh, notification to the those people. Because this uh, special or whatever or whatever is happening in Sri Lanka is very sensitive. In this winter season, in this uh, cool season, they are evicted, now they are homeless. This uh, us on humanitarian ground is supposed to think that. Now it is the big children, they are going to schools, but they don't have any room where they want to study. But think about the uh, sanitation, think about the drinking water. So it comes. But that is why I would like to appeal to the government of Assam, government of Indonesia, please, be sensitive and look on humanity. Women have every right to evict or settle in their land, but they should think those people, the season, the time, and it is very unfortunate. Now people are homeless in their, in their own home, in their own land. Now it is very sensitive to change. That is why I would like to appeal to the state government, please, on this our prayer, this local ministry, please, all human please don't do, don't do it again. That At least, government should notify the people that whether to be or not. And without any notification, eviction and such kind of thing is anti-human. I mean, what to say, anti-tribal policy. There are also people who are residing without any valid documents, without any valid uh, uh, bona fide uh, permission from the government. Let them behead them as per the order given by the government. Uh, high court, what